Hello, I'm going to show you how to link transcription documents to the uh, associated record office page. So if we go into the research documents, um, documents and sources section, we've got our record office pages here. However, having just discussed with Greg, um, we're going to divide the Northumberland archives up into sub-pages just because of the volume of, of uh, separate PDFs that are likely to be in this section. So the Northumberland archives page is not going to be a record office page essentially, it's going to be a section hub and the record office pages with the uploads are going to be childs of that. In order for us to get the, the, the kind of the box sub-navigation on there, this, uh, the page needs to be a section hub. So any, any um, page which doesn't have its own uploads but has child pages with uploads on needs to be set as a section hub. If we go back, um, the National Archives page uh, we've agreed is going gonna, is gonna to have this kind of format. It's going to be one of the pages with the uh, document uploads on here. So this page is flagged with the template record office landing page. And we need that to be set so that we can find these pages when we associate the transcriptions to them. So we've got the, um, the TNA Exchequer Court case um, uh, PDF, which was ultimately generated from this CSV file which was processed from the original transcription text documents. So we're going to upload this, these transcriptions and uh, we'll go to transcriptions, import from CSV, choose file and it is the TNA, open that import there we go so this is the first one going into the live site and uh, basically we've got we've got 15 transcriptions now in here uh, with Mr. depositions so we don't need to link each individual transcription to the record office um, the system does this for us we can link the batch. So if we go to the batch and select our record office page, currently the only one with the template is in fact the National Archives. And update that. So now in the front end when we search the archives in the documents section. Each of these documents has its document reference. We can go to the original document And we can go to the archive source, which is the National Archives. There we go.